Books, books, I like books. I'm going to read them all. Hi, readers. Chris here. Hope you all had a good holiday weekend. I'm keeping the party going, and today we're going to be opening up my December Owl Crate book box. I got this box the other week, but I just have not had time to open it because it's been so crazy. So I'm going to see if any of my little fur babies are around. So give me a minute while I switch the camera angle and we can pop this baby open together. Be right back. All right, let's open this up and see what is inside. Dun, dun, da, da. All right, so... Oh, not a lot of packaging in this box. So our theme for December is star-crossed. Ooh, I'm assuming star-crossed lovers, but uh, let's see. Um, because it's right here, I'm going to start with the literary luggage. I've been saying this all year. Apple Crate has been doing these pins that are shaped like luggage. And this one is, what does it say? Spend time in Craig Nadoon. Craig Nadoon. Ah, so uh, I think that's from Outlander, which I've never read, but I've seen the TV show. In Outlander, there is this woman who gets sent back into like the Scottish Highlands through these stones. It's like kind of meant to look like Stonehenge, but obviously is not Stonehenge. Uh, Craig Nadoon, I think that's what it is. Let me check the spoiler card to make sure. Yes, right here, inspired by Outlander. Okay, cool. I'm always excited when I actually know uh, what the thing is from. All right, moving on. Uh, let me grab this, this box. Something's Oh, it's this one that's making noise. I hope it's not broken. Okay. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, it's two things. It looks like a, I think that's exactly what it is. It's a little uh, salt and pepper shaker. Oh, cute. And it says on it, Ch chasser Ch is that supposed to be chaucer so they're these little white uh ceramic um salt and pepper shakers one says dom blanche on it and the other one says Chauss chasser are those is that also from outlander i didn't they call her dom blanche in the series like for white witch um but anyway, white salt and pepper shakers have all of this beautiful black, like, designing all over it. There's, like, a bird, a snake, a whole bunch of leaves and flowers. Let's see if this is from Outlander as well. Okay, uh, not from Outlander. This is supposed to be from Serpent in Dove, a ceramic salt and pepper shaker. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they still, they call her... Dom Blanche or something, something to do with White Witch and that. I think I'm still right about that, but tell me in the comments if you, if you think I'm wrong. All right, let me put this back in the box. Next up, I'm going to take this little boxy here and this white box and let's see what is in here. Oh, what is this? Dun, 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 dun. It is good. It's not broken. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's like a, a tea tray and a reusable tea bag. Oh, that's really cool. I could use one of these. I've gotten a lot of loose leaf tea over the years in these bags, and I don't have anything like that. So that's really cool. Um, okay, so let's start with the little tea dish. It's a ceramic crescent moon. Super cute. It's mostly white, but it has all this gold, uh, like a gold edging around it. And inside it says, I don't know what it says, <laughs> Astra Inclinante. It says something in a language that I'm not sure what it means, uh, is the short version of that. <laughs> and then there is this uh, reusable uh, silicon tea bag, which is super cool, super cute. Uh, let's see what this is from. So it says, this tea bag rest is inspired by these violent delights. 
So these violent delights. It must be like a saying or phrase from the book, I'm assuming. I don't know, but it's really cute. Uh, very cute. And we'll definitely uh, get some use out of it. So let me put that back in and move on to what is next. All right, next up we have... Um, Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Jack Jack! What is it, Jack? What is it? We've got a long rectangular canvas sack, and on the front of it, it says, You are the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires. Oh, oh, come here, Jack. Come here. <laughs> come here, Mr. Jack. Come here, Mr. Jack. Here you go. Good boy. Okay. And then we have like the silhouette of a man and the silhouette of a woman. And oh, everyone's awake right now. No one was here. And then everyone got up at once. Come here, Meeps. Right here, baby. Here you go. Here you go. Good girl. Okay. So let's see what's in this canvas sack. And it is, ooh, the are metal straws that are gold and they're shaped like like hearts like instead of a like a round straw the actual like hole of the straw is heart shaped i hope you guys can see that focus camera that's really cute this is obviously from some sort of a romance uh maybe maybe a jane austen romance is my first guess but ah now i can't get them back in the bag uh oop got all but one Let's see what the card says. Here we go. Inspired by Bridgerton, Bridgerton, these heart straws will ensure that you stay hydrated after watching all the spicy banter between Kate and Anthony. That show is definitely spicy. Uh, speaking of spicy, Jack Jack's a little spicy. <laughs> all right, super cute. Move these to the side. Whoop. And we'll keep going. Next up, we have a, um, oh, I don't know what this is. Like a mesh sack, but it's like a blue mesh that has all these uh, gold moons and stars on it. And there's some sort of a, I don't know what's in here. Something fabric. Uh, something fabric. If I can get it out of here, I'll tell you what it is. Ooh, it's got moths and stuff on it. It's folding out. What? What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, it looks like, it looks like, um, it looks like one of those, uh, this is not big enough, but it looks like something that you would hang off the back of your door to, like, put shoes and stuff in, because it's this very long rectangle with all these, like, different sacks in it like all these different pockets so i'm assuming you could do shoes maybe makeup and it says at the top the dream chooses the dreamer i am assuming that <laughs> this is based on strange the dreamer from laney taylor one of my absolute favorites of all time that is super cute i don't know if i have anything i can hang this off of it has like a little string it's hanging off this wooden dowel um it's kind of like this beigey color, but then the pockets are covered with these beautiful, like, blue moths and butterflies and moons and stars. Meepers, can you get your butt off my spoiler card? <laughs> and yes, I was right. It says this hanging fabric organizer was inspired by Strange the Dreamer. Okay, did I say Daughter of Smoke and Bone or did I say Strange the Dreamer? I don't remember, but Strange the Dreamer makes sense because if you've ever heard me talk about this book, there is a character who, like, sends moths out of her mouth to, like, uh, go spy on people. So that's pretty cool. I feel like I'm never going to be able to get this back in this bag, so I'm not going to try. I'm just going to set it to the side and move on. All right. Next up, I see a bookmark. Uh, just a a regular like paper bookmark here. It looks to be some sort of advertisement. Oh, scan to read the first three chapters of Unsealy. It's got a QR code on it. Okay, maybe. Um, sure, why not? I don't know anything about the book, but maybe I'll look into it. Um, I'm gonna move on because I feel like that's just an advertising advertisement. And let's see. A brown envelope. What is in here? In here we have, ooh, two more bookmarks. Okay, and these are more, I guess, they're still like paper, but like a very thick 
thick paper. And on one, we have... Now, this must be from Daughter of Smoke and Bone, because Karu has her, her signature blue hair. That's definitely a Karu-looking character. And then on the other side, I forget what his name is. On the back, it says, Your soul sings to mine. My soul is yours, and it always will be in any world. Lainey Taylor. Yep. And then the other one has two more characters on it, and this one says... For tonight, maybe, we can just be Leia and Elias. Oh, okay. This is from An Ember in the Ashes, and this one is from Strange the Dreamer. Two different books, two different bookmarks, but they're designed in the same artistic style. Very cute. I will definitely use these. Uh, Meepers is digging through everything over there. Uh, Meepers, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, I think that's it, and that brings us to our book, dun, 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 which is The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. All right, let me clear some of this stuff out so that we can take a good look at this up close. Okay, so our book is called The Poison Season. It's by Mara Rutherford, and it's got a black cover, but then has these beautifully designed animals on it. There's like a brown fox, a gray wolf, and this beautiful uh, white swan, some lotus flowers. Meepers, what do you think? What do you think? On the back it says, the forest was speaking and the wolf was at the doorstep. Dun, dun, da, da. No sprayed edges, but let's see. Is there some? Ooh, wow. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Uh, the hard case of the book is this beautiful, um, this beautiful artwork with a, a girl's face that's like coming out of like a berry bush, basically, because there's all these leaves and berries and one white feather. Is she a swan, maybe? Is this like a, a Swan Lake retelling? Every sacrifice deserves a song. So that is a gorgeous hard case. I feel like I don't even want to look at the reverse dust jacket in case it's prettier because this is pretty gorgeous. But <laughs> for the sake of the video, the reverse dust jacket is also gorgeous. We have a young girl, this blonde haired girl, and she is on the side of a river or a lake leaning down. We have beautiful blue water, some flowers floating in the water, and then on the far side, there's a guy over there, some sort of gentleman guy. So clearly, I, I'm getting very much Swan Lake vibes from this, but let's read the, uh, the description and see if I am right at all. Okay. Outsiders are always given a choice, the forest or the lake. Either way, they're never heard from again. Lilo has spent her entire life on en end Endla, Endla, coexisting with the blood bloodthirsty forest and respecting the poisonous lake that protects her island from outsiders who seek to destroy it. But as much as Lilo cares for her community, she struggles to accept that her younger brother will be exiled by his next birthday unless he gains the magic of enchanted song so vital to Endla. When Lilo sees a young outsider on the verge of drowning in the lake, she knows exactly what she's supposed to do. But in a moment that will change everything, Lilo betrays her family, her best friend, and Endla by making the unthinkable choice. Discovery could lead to devastating consequences for both Lilo and the outsider, Jaren. But as they grow closer, Lilu realizes that not all danger comes from beyond the lake, and they can only survive if Lilu is willing to question the very fabric of her society, her people, and herself. Dun dun da da. Okay, there's swans all over this, so like there must be swans in here somewhere. Um, I don't know. It also sounds kind of like, um, what's that movie, that M. Night Shyamalan movie, where they all, like, live in a village? I think it's actually called The Village, <laughs> where, like, no one's supposed to leave the village because it's dangerous, but then it turns out it's not really dangerous. Like, the, the leaders were just saying that, so maybe that's what's going on here? I don't know. I'm really curious how the swan and the other animals factor into it. Um, I'm a big animal lover myself, so definitely uh, looking forward to reading this book.
So and that brings us to the end of our unboxing. We have our book, our salt and pepper shakers, our little uh, tea stand and tea bag, the um, the straws, the bookmarks, the pen, and this uh, canvas organizer type thing. As always, if you like this unboxing video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel for more bookish stuff coming your way soon. All right, everyone. Happy reading.